we need to find out which is the best model among it all and what kind of attributes are hyperparameters in this case are best and we did do a little bit of studies on it and yeah so first for deciding which is the best distance metric in order to uh, we are doing face recognition and verification in which the distance between two embeddings uh, which are got from the uh, backend model is needed for us to uh, find which is the best model uh, i mean uh, which is the <clears throat> uh, whether the two faces are the same or not or you know for face recognition so these were the f uh, six uh, different distance metrics the normalized embeddings means we take the embedding normalize it and then perform the dot product cosine distance or Euclidean distance between two embeddings uh, so yeah uh, these were the uh, I mean <clears throat> Yep. Uh, we took every pair of same people and every pair of different people and we found out all the data for them to, and we plotted them in these graphs. You can see that the distance is quite good in terms of you know the difference, uh, different people are uh, there. I mean, uh, there is a difference between that. The spread of same people is quite large, but different people have a very small uh, distance uh, parameter. The cosine thing, there is a very, very good <coughs> separation between different people and the spread of different people and the spread of same people and the distance between same people embeddings is almost you know very very close to zero uh, normalized it is a little bit more uh, spread out than the normal cosine distance but it is still fine uh, Euclidean both are quite spread out and there are regions of overlap even in the case of distance metric there are cases of overlap so from this we can get our, to our inference that the cosine distance is the best way to go theoretically think, uh, intuitively thinking also the arc phase thing is a uh, additive angular margins right so um, the angle between two things can be best measured using the cosine metric uh, and uh, yeah it does show in the uh, you know uh, inference which we infer also over here next the better optimizer so we tried using two optimizers the adam and the sgd the sgd gives a lesser value in terms of cosine distances but still the spread is quite large compared to the adam in that range so the atom was the best way to go the uh, plus uh, speaking of the difference between that you know the margin between the same people and different people adam provides a quite high margin and i guess adam would be the better optimizer to go with the uh, another way of looking at it was also uh, to create a pcm uh, i mean take the embeddings of for, for different people create pca from those so you can see over here that uh, green blue red dot all these dots are uh, denote the embeddings of different people uh, the different photos of the same people green means it is one person etc etc you can see that the uh, uh, the atom provides a much better uh, the model trained with atom provides a much better uh, embedding in terms of you know uh, interclass compactness intraclass compactness and interclass distance so I guess uh, that also pro uh, you know adds to the point that atom is better uh, performance. I mean, uh, this is a small data set of about 1500 images, as I told you, so it does lead to overfitting. But in this case, uh, you know, uh, as epochs progress, we wanted to see how well our model does in terms of the embeddings. So, over here, we have used the cost method SGD uh, trained using SGD for 16 dimensional embeddings. You know, 16 dimensional embeddings is that um, the ResNet model it finally gives an output of uh, 16 dimensions. Uh, th that's the thing we have added dense layers uh, that's uh, uh, to give a 16 dimensional embedding at last um, so initially it is not very good but after about 800 epochs it does a very good I mean not a great job as because this uh, does a very much better job but uh, it does do a good job of um, intra-class compactness and inter-class separation or you know finding out discriminatory um, embeddings for the same the uh, after that the model does a worse job uh, some I mean the maybe the SCD is not the best tra uh, optimizer for the same that is our thing so our best model in our arsenal is the R cosine Adam thing um, and a 16 embedding 800 epoch model the R cosine does provide uh, I mean does present us problems in terms of uh, you know giving us NAND values after about 800 epochs so we need to try it out with the cosine thing and that is something we are working on after the uh, yeah